Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Dear students, Assalamu alaikum. I hope students you are doing good. Subject statistics ka chapter 1 discuss karunga. Lecture number 1 hai or chapter mara first chapter that is introduction. So students, you have to channel ko subscribe karna hai. Apna feedback zero de. So let's start the new chapter, chapter number 1 introduction. In the first chapter introduction, I will discuss the three points of statistics. First one is the meaning of statistics. Second one is the branches of statistics. And the last one is the characteristics of statistics. So in this lecture, students, I will cover the, these three points about the statistics. First of all, I'm going to discuss the first point that is meaning of statistics. The first point meaning of statistics, there are the two senses. First one is the statistics in singular sense and statistics in the plural sense. In the singular sense, statistics refers to the science comprising methods which are used in collection, presentation, analysis and interpretations of numerical data. So there are the four points. First one is the collection of data, presentation of data, analysis of data and interpretations of the results. So first of all, students, you can use any techniques for collection of data, ke liye, presentation of data ke liye, or analysis of data, ke liye, which methods or sets techniques which we will learn in statistics ke andar, so it includes in singular sense. In the plural sense, statistics are aggregates of facts which are expressed in numerical form. Koi bhi haqqaiq ka majmua jo bhi aapke pas real life ke andar jo bhi characteristics hain unko jo bhi humnuk aggregate unka jo hai usko explain karte hain to wo aapne sabse pehle first of all usko explain kiya jata hai expressed in numerical form yani usse humnuk numerically expressed karte hain this is called in plural sense. So, you have two definitions. Think there are the two definitions of statistics. First one is the singular sense statistics or statistics in the plural sense. Now, in the second point, I will discuss the branches of statistics. In the second point, branches of statistics, there are the two branches. First one is the descriptive statistics and second one is the inferential statistics. Descriptive or deductive statistics is that branch of statistics which deals with the concepts and methods concerned with summarization and description of numerical data. Numerical data ko summarize karne ke liye jo bhi techniques, methods use karenge, jo bhi concepts hum log use karenge, learn karenge, wo include hoga aapka descriptive statistic mein. It is also called deductive statistics or inferential statistics or inductive statistics deals with the techniques used for analysis of data making the estimates and drawing conclusions from limited information taking on the sample base and testing the reliability of estimates. So there are the four points. We will learn those techniques which will be used for data analysis and for making the estimates and estimates for making the estimates. And the third point is we will draw some conclusions about the population parameter using the sample information. We will draw some conclusions about the population parameter using the sample information. When we will draw some techniques and methods which will be used for the data analysis, we will learn learn karenge wo include hoga inferential statistics mein aur last one in the is the testing the reliability of estimates so jo estimates aapne jo hai wo yahan pe find kiye honge unki reliability ko test karenge ke whether it is true or not aur kis had tak ye aapke paas jo hai wo estimates jo hai wo true hain aur uh, false hain to ye aapke paas do branches hain statistics ki jo ke hum log discuss karenge apni puri ki puri statistics mein to descriptive statistics or inferential statistics that is the difference between of the between two branches of statistics. In the third point of this lecture, I will discuss the characteristics of statistics. First point of the characteristics of statistics is statistics are aggregates of facts. There is also the definition of statistics in plural sense. For example, the heights of a person, however tall he may be, is not statistics. A collection of heights of 100 students would be a statistics. Every characteristics, every phenomena or every variable, which is clearly defined in statistics. Here, heights of 100 students would be a statistics. Then you can say that tall he may be is not statistics. In the second point, statistics are affected to a great extent by multiplicity of causes. For example, the heights of individuals are affected by heights of their parents. So many other factors that is also affected to a variable, to a fact, to a characteristics. In the third point, statistics are numerically expressed. For example, the average yield of a wheat per acre during the year was 65 months is a statistical treatment. Here, statistical treatment is that every characteristic, every fact that is expressed numerically. Here, every yield of average, average yield is explained in 65 months in numerical expression. 65 is your numerical expression. Uh, if you explain heights, that is 65 inches. This is also numerically expressed. And if you can say that weights of students, that is 
numeric numeric expression is that 65 kg that is called statistical treatment so in the fourth point statistics are estimated according to reasonable standard of accuracy for example the heights of students measurement can be accurate to nearest centimeter if you explain the heights of students so nearest unit is that centimeters or inches if you if we may measure the distance the measurement can be accurate to nearest kilometer if you explain the distance the nearest unit is that kilometers meters so that is the fourth point that is the stand, reasonable standard of accuracy any characteristics any phenomena I explain reasonable standard of accuracy fifth point of the characteristics of statistics is that statistics are collected in a systematic manner statistics collected in a haphazard manner cannot be accurate every information of any characteristics which is explained systematically in the seventh point six points that six are collected is without definite object in view data collected without any purpose would be of no use in the seventh point statistics are capable of being placed in relation to each other it should be homogeneous so that they are comparable koi bhi characteristics isko aap consider kar rahe hain which is which is of homogeneous type aur isko hum log jo hai wo compare kar sake hain results ko it is not possible to compare figures which of a heterogeneous character and cannot be placed in relation to each other for example ages of husbands and wives at marriage are comparable and can be explained in relation to each other and there are the seven characteristics of statistics that we have been explained here definition of statistics include all characteristics of statistics a definition comprehensive enough to include the above characteristics of statistics has been given by sikrist he defines statistics as the aggregates of facts affected to a great extent by multiplicity of causes numerically expressed estimated according to reasonable standard of accuracy collected in a systematic manner for a predetermined purpose in view and placed in relation to each other so that is the definition given by sikrist he defines statistics with all characteristics of the statistics in this lecture students i have been explain the meaning of statistics branches of statistics and characteristics of statistics briefly and انشاءاللہ تعالی نیکسٹ لیکچر میں سٹوڈنٹس اپ سے ملاقات ہوگی نیکسٹ ٹاپک کے ساتھ اپنا خیال رکھیے گا اور میرے چینل کو سبسکرائب کرنا ہے اپنا فیڈ بیک ضرور دیں اوکے سٹوڈنٹس اللہ حافظ تھینک یو